Craig here. Welcome to Vinyl TV. I know a lot of you who are watching these videos have probably already have your turntable set up and everything's all, all hunky-dory. But some people still are looking for equipment to play vinyl since vinyl is still coming back and it has come, has come back. And so I still have to do videos about, you know, how what people sh need to look for. And um, I've done a couple of videos on the Fluence turntables. I own two of them. And I'm, I'm delighted to see how popular they've become. Uh, just, you know, looking around YouTube, I'm seeing a lot of people that are very happy with them. So uh, that's awesome. And um, I, I'm happy with mine. Uh, so I was kind of thinking about like systems, you know, like if somebody wanted to get a turntable set up, um, what might they want to do to start simple? And because, you know, you need a turntable, you need an amplifier, you need speakers and people, some people, especially younger people, they don't really know how to buy those things. <clears throat> so I think we got the turntables covered. But what about the rest of it? Well, as you saw at the beginning of the video, uh, there isn't really much else in, that needs to be involved. And that's kind of what I'm going to focus on today in, in this video. Um, as you can see, I have a, you know, a loudspeaker here. And this is a Fluence um, active or powered uh, bookshelf speaker, one of, one of two, as you saw at the beginning of the video. And I was thinking about like how it would be or, or how somebody could set up just a minimalistic record player setup so you don't have wires and amplifiers and things like that lying around. So I was in touch with Fluence and they offered to send me these AI40 powered bookshelf speakers. Um, before I accepted the offer, I went around and looked and see what other people saw, you know, try to figure out what other people were saying about them. And it turns out that they're getting good reviews. So I said, sure, I'll give this a whirl. When I was taking them out of the box, I noticed how small they were. I didn't think they were that small when I was looking at them on videos. And I also noticed that they didn't have a tuned bass port. Now, a bass port is a hole that they'll put in the front or the back of the speaker that um, changes the resonant frequency of the cabinet so that the speaker thinks it's in a larger enclosure and it can produce more bass. And this, these don't have them. So I was a little bit, I was thinking, okay, well, all right, I guess I'm probably pretty familiar with how this is going to sound. You know, I've heard lots of small speakers before and they, they sound small. However, when I hooked them up, I was pleasantly surprised. Now they come with the, uh, the, the obviously the, um, the cables to hook them up, you know, the wire that goes between the two speakers, um, an audio cable to plug your, you know, iPhone or your device or whatever you've got into them. Uh, they also ha have the, obviously the power supply and a remote control uh, with batteries. And they also have Bluetooth as well. But today we're gonna we're try to focus more on the vinyl uh, application of having speakers like this because it's a, it's a vinyl channel. But they do have other features as well, which I'll talk about later. Now, before I go any further, I will tell you that this is the second time I've recorded this video. And I will tell you why a little bit later on. So let's just take a little bit of a look at what we've got here. We have a five inch woven glass fiber woofer. Okay. And we have a one inch silk soft dome ferrofluid cooled tweeter. So there's, it's, two, it's a two way system. And built into these speakers is a class D amplifier. The amplifier is in the right hand speaker. Um, and that's the same amplifier that powers the left-hand speaker. So the left-hand speaker is just a regular passive speaker, and the right-hand speaker is the one that does all the work. They come in four different color combinations. They have black, uh, black and wood, white and wood, and white and bamboo, which is what I have here. <laughs> They're very well built. I mean, these things are seamless. Uh, there's really nice rounded corners. Um, there's awesome connections on the back, sticker peeling off, little Canadian flag there because it's a Canadian company, eh? And uh, just really nice work on these really beautiful looking speakers and um, just well built, very solid, good stuff. So the thing is, is w um, trying to get a way of hooking up a system 
where you don't need all kinds of components. I'll talk about how they sound in a minute. If you could get yourself a turntable that has a built-in phono amplifier, such as the Fluence RT81, which is the one I have here, uh, one of the ones I have, then all you need is these speakers. And you can hook this up in a bedroom or in the living room or wherever you want. And it's a very unobtrusive, simplistic setup. Um, the good news is it doesn't sound simplistic. You know, there's no base port. There's no hole anywhere. I'm thinking these are sealed. How could they possibly have any decent base response? <clears throat> so the first thing I did was I hooked them up through Bluetooth to my phone and I just played something through Spotify. And I was amazed. I really was. My first impression, the first five seconds was, how are they doing this? Okay, how are they how are they getting this these things to sound bigger than the if you close your eyes uh, You'd think that they were much bigger than this. That was my first impression So and that's what other people are kind of saying about them too is they have a an amazing um, Base response now. They're not this is not a subwoofer So you're not gonna be like moving your furniture around in your house with these but they do have a very solid tight base response and that's the first thing I noticed. Also very nice high frequencies, nice trouble, and just an all around balanced sound. And I, that's the first thing I noticed. I set them up in my living room. I did not put them anywhere special. I had them on the coffee table right in the middle of the of the living room. And it's not an ideal you know position to put them in, yet they still sounded very good. So I brought them down here and I put them where you saw them on the uh, table over here. It's not a very solid table. I'm sorry about that. It's actually a keyboard stand. It's it's actually very solid if, you, if you're not touching it. But that's, that's just that's all I've got right now. And I set them up and again, they sounded amazing. Now the remote that comes with them um, has, you know, it's got the, let me see here. It's got the power. It's got a mute button. Uh, we have a, uh, um, a, a little circle, you know, pad here for stop, play, pause, reverse, you know, for Bluetooth connections, if you decide to use these for that. And um, it has a input selector, and you can dim the little LED that's on the front here, which tells you what's going on, whether they're on or off, or whether they're on Bluetooth or line in. And the bass and treble controls, I was actually really impressed with, because it's not like the bass and treble controls that you find on a regular stereo amplifier. These things really are subtle. And you, you, turn up, you turn up the bass and all of a sudden you're realizing, wow, this, these things rock, you know? And you turn up the treble and it's like, now it's, you just dial it in and it's just really amazing the way they've done this. Actually, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking there's some like trickery going on inside of these things, some circuitry of some sort maybe a DSP or something, um, where they've been able to get them to sound much bigger than they really are. Now, um, so I hooked them up to my turntable, and I listened to music, and I thought they sounded amazing. So what a way to set up a, a, you know, a nice, quaint, simple uh, turntable speaker or record player setup. Uh, for somebody who doesn't have a lot of room, somebody who's going to college or university, they got a dorm, they want to have your turntable there, and all you need is a pair of speakers. That's it. That's all they are. So they're 35 watts per channel, and so you're not you're not going to blow the doors off your house with these. It's not what they're made for. They do go pretty loud, um, loud enough that you know your ears are ringing after you're finished listening, but they you know you're not going to. Like I said, you're not going to blow the doors off your house. If you want to do that, you have to get something bigger and more powerful. 35 watts per channel, and they have a heck of a great bass response. Um, now, by that, I don't mean that they have a lot of bass. Uh, they're not bass heavy. They just have a really amazing, tight, punchy bass response. Um, it's not hard to get a, a decent treble response. Tweeters, you know, they don't need an enclosure. They'll just work anywhere. But the woofer on these things, you know, they need air. They need to be able to push 
a lot of air and they need to be able to be enclosed in an enclosure that will allow them to do that and that's why a lot of speakers have the holes in them because it gives them a little more breathing room if you will to create more bass now when i got these out of the box i do what i often do when i'm in a thrift store and i'm looking at speakers i take them i put them up to my ear and i just gently tap on the woofer and when i did that when i first got them out of the box i thought oh dear <laughs> these things aren't going to have any bass um but when i listen to them they do They've done something inside these speakers that definitely allows them to create a lot of excellent bass, especially for the size. I mean, these are small, right? Look at them, right? Um, they are what they are. They're $200 US at this time, and they're bookshelf speakers, and you know, you wouldn't think that they would sound very good, but they do, and I can honestly tell you that. They really sound very, very nice. The stereo imaging, you know, the um, when you get between them and you hear that phantom image right in the center. Um, I was listening to an Anne Murray song. I love Anne Murray. <laughs> and her voice was right in the middle. The speaker here, speaker here. Voice was right there. Beautiful imaging. Very well done. Very well done. Uh, you've got the dial here. This is a volume control. It also presses in, so if you hold it, it'll shut the power on or off, and if you press it, it'll cycle through the two inputs, which is the Bluetooth and the audio in, which on the back here, you can see that they have the, the audio in, so you can hook your turntable up. You need a preamp, so if the turntable has a built-in preamp, you're all set. If it doesn't, well, you get yourself a little preamp from somewhere. I mean, they... They sell these, they sell preamps too, Fluence, I believe. So, you know, you get yourself a little one of those. They're only that big. You just put it down behind the desk and you've got an excellent little turntable setup. So that's really what I wanted to focus on today. Um, the Fluence AI 40s. They also have AI 60s, which are a little bit bigger. And if you go to their website, you can see they actually sell complete systems with the turntable and the speakers together. And if that's all you need. If you're just looking at playing records and you don't care about blowing the doors off the house, it's a really cool way to go. Apart from the vinyl aspect of these, they also really have a awesome Bluetooth chip in them. Uh, I've hooked these up through Bluetooth to my phone and my tablets, and it's flawless. The sound quality is really good. Uh, I don't know, I haven't used Bluetooth for a very long time, and I know some people don't like it, and they think it doesn't sound good. I don't hear anything wrong. I don't, I don't hear anything wrong with it. Sounds just like a, you know, like a compact disc, and I know some people don't like those either, but it does sound very good, especially, you know, you got, you know, your phone, and you're in the kitchen, you're doing the dishes or something like that, and you just want to listen to something on Spotify. <clears throat> you hook these up to your phone. Awesome. As to why I did this video a second time, because when I was done listening to them and testing them down here on my turntable, I decided that, well, I wasn't going to keep them down here because I, I don't need them down here. I have speakers already that I, that I already have hooked up, you know, they're studio monitors. And so I thought, well, I'm going to put these up in my kitchen. That's kind of why I chose the color I chose, because I thought when I'm done reviewing them, I'll put them upstairs somewhere and they'll fit in with the decor. So I put them in the kitchen on the windowsill above the sink and I just put them on there. I hid the wires and I just hooked them all up and everything got them going. And then I put up my, got my phone out and I listened to a couple songs and honest to God, I was blown away again. And so I thought, well, I guess the first video I recorded wasn't good enough. So I had to do it again. And I had to tell you that story. I stood there and I just thought, I've got to get my, my kids have to hear this. People have to hear this. My neighbors got to hear this. I've got to get people over. This is amazing. These little speakers are, are, are producing this amazingly clean, tight bass and wonderfully detailed treble. You know, I like loud music. Um, I was in a band, you know, I've been in bands and stuff like that. And 
I, I like my music loud. These are 35 watts per channel. As I said before, they're not going to blow your head off. If you want to do that, you got to get bigger speakers with more power. But these can definitely fill a room with music and good sounding music as well. So I, I would highly recommend, I don't know how they did this for 200 bucks a pair, uh, US. A lot of people have, you know, huge stereo systems and they got big speakers and they got huge amplifiers and, you know, expensive cables and that's fine that's fine you know uh that's what they want and that's what they're going to have uh, but some people just want to be able to play records and you know some people are going out and buying these little suitcase record players with the built-in speakers and that's how they're playing the records and that's not don't do that <laughs> that's not it's not, it's not that's not a good thing uh if you really want to listen to vinyl on the cheap and you don't, you don't want a big elaborate setup with wires and everything like that, then you just want a turntable and a couple of powered speakers. And I, I do highly recommend these um, Fluence uh, AI40s. They're great. I'm going to use them in my kitchen. They sound amazing. Uh, so I did get these for free, but I'm being completely honest with you guys. Uh, really, I wouldn't... It's not in my best interest to review a product and say it's excellent when it actually sucks because then that looks bad on me. Because you go out and you buy it and then you, you don't like it and you think, well, Craig doesn't know what he's talking about. So uh, I, I can honestly say that, especially for the money and for the size, these AI40s are um, very, very nice. They sound great, they're small, they look nice, and they're very well built. And I will be using them, okay? All right, so that's that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I, I like doing reviews once in a while because it helps people. It helps the company. It helps the consumer. Because I know when I bought my first turntable from Fluence, I didn't even, I never heard of them. And I went on YouTube and I looked around and I saw all the different brands and models and things like that. And it was because of the reviews that I bought the turntable that I bought. Uh, the RT81, and and it's so, you, you know, the companies need us, we need the companies, and the consumers need the companies, and they need us too, because all together, uh, we can uh, al allow people to try and find the product that's best for them, and that's what this is all about. Now, speaking of products, I have a shirt here that I'm going to show you. This is available, I didn't have it ready, I'm sorry, this is available at tgtshirts.com. This is my vinyl TV t-shirt. And if you buy one of these, it would greatly help me out. So, and help out the channel as well. So it's vinyl TV. There you have it. There's the design. tgtshirts.com. That's where you can purchase those. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know when I produce new videos. And hopefully we'll see you back here again the next time. I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, keep spinning those records because you know what? You know, you know what? <laughs> Vinyl is final. Take care, guys. Cheers.